What's up y'all, it's Alfred and I'm back with another video. So before y'all even ask about my lips right now, I'm still in, you know, the process of my lips going down. Don't even mind this. But for today's video, y'all, I'm going to be doing a very, 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 very long awaited video, y'all. I know it's taking so long how I get my hair platinum, how I like to tone it blonde in literally like five minutes, y'all. It's the easiest toning tutorial ever. So I'm going to be doing my regular toning tutorial and everything like that, how I regularly uh, tone my blonde hair. And I'm going to be using my blonde hair for today's video y'all are interested in blonde hair then definitely 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 check out the link below to my website and you know you can get you a blonde wig or whatever a lot of y'all have been asking me for this tutorial after my uh blonde hair picture went viral on twitter i will leave a picture of it right here so after this went off on twitter a lot of y'all was like how the hell do you get that so easily how did you achieve that color and for today's video i'm about to put y'all on game very easy very simple but the key to like the perfect blonde hair is you have to have quality hair because if you don't have the right quality of hair it's not going to turn out the yellow because of the quality of the hair so you have to make sure that the quality of your hair is good and you have to make sure that your technique is good and the products that you're actually using to you know achieve the color is good so yeah i'm gonna put y'all on game i'm gonna tell y'all everything all the tips and the tricks that i like to do to tone my hair white if this is your first time seeing one of my videos or my face hello Hello, my name is Alfred, nice to meet you. If you're returning, welcome back, bitch, you already know I missed you. So both new and returning, before you all leave, do not forget to hit that bell button down below to be notified every single time I post a video. I'm gonna be posting looks like every other day for the beginning of March, so definitely turn on those post notifications so you can be notified every time a look drops. Shadow, can you please stop being a pain in my ass? Say hi. Now he trying to be shy when he was over here terrorizing me, y'all. So, to start off, the products that I like to use, let me go ahead and get those out for y'all. Quick and easy, I like to use one main product, which is, doo -doo -doo -doo, the Shimmer Lights Conditioner. I'm using this Shimmer Lights Conditioner to tone my blonde hair. It's been like, two years, I would say. I tried doing the whole toning process with the Wella T18. I also tried, you know, using this. I tried using this like the regular way, but I will always get like purple streaks. It wouldn't actually be like the color that I would want it to be. It will always be too gray or it wouldn't be, you know, gray enough. But I realized that it's all about like the techniques that you're doing. Because what I like to do, I like to watercolor it. If y'all didn't catch on to that yet, I like to just watercolor it. So if you don't know what watercoloring is, it's basically when you put you know color into a bucket of water and you saturate the hair and you dip it in there and the color saturates over the hair strand and then boom you have a colored wig yes it's as simple as it sounds literally this shit is gonna take me like five minutes y'all i love doing this method i tone all my blonde wigs before i do my color and everything like that if you think of it as you're painting a canvas or something you don't want to start off with like you know a, a yellow colored canvas you want to start off with like a white canvas so that's why i like to tone all of my wigs white before i color them that's just some tea on that if you do like to you know do color and stuff like that could skip that step but that's just honestly up to you but um yeah share my lights conditioner and then i like to just take a bucket a big bucket if you're not new to my channel you have seen this bucket i've been using this bucket for literally like years now so um yeah just take a big bucket and some hot water i'm gonna turn on my water real quick so it can get steamy i want the water to get as hot as possible um but i don't want to like blow any water because i don't want to like ruin my hair this blonde hair is already like very 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 fragile so i don't want to like process the hair or like burn the hair in some boiling ass water so i'm just gonna let the faucet get as hot as it can but if your faucet gets like boiling hot i would say like turn it down a little bit just make the water a little bit hotter than what you can take if you put your hand inside of it if that makes any sense i'm just gonna let my water run for a little minute because it takes a little while to get hot and my battery is about to die so i need to put my new battery in here but yeah this is basically the only product that i use so if you have your shimmer lights get your shimmer lights out and your bucket and your water and let's go Filling my bucket with water, but I just want to show you all a close-up of the wig. Very small knots, transparent lace. I'm getting HD lace in this month as well, so I'm going to do a video with the HD lace 613. But this is my transparent lace, undetectable 613 wig. It's in 26 inches. 
Love, love, love. So they already come very already platinum. I just like mine to be a little bit more white just to tone out that little piece of yellow in it. Parting goes all the way back. It's a 13 by six. Yeah, this is the wig that I'm gonna be demoing. If anybody was interested, the link is in my bio. But, ooh, the water's getting too high. It's nice and hot, but it's a little bit too hot for my hand. As you all can see, my hand's getting red. So that's, I'm just gonna take my shimmer lights and the key to toning hair and like the water method is just doing it in layers. So first I'm gonna take a little bit of the shimmer lights, like that much, if you're all seeing. Twist that around. And you have to make sure that all of the product is distributed in the water or you would get like purple patches because the product just saturated one little piece of the hair. So you have to make sure all of the product is distributed inside of the water. So I just go ahead and just twist it really, really fast at the bottom. My wig. And just dip her in. Make sure she's fully saturated. And now, take the lace, and I'm just gonna start bringing her back and forth. Dipping it in and up, making sure to come all the way up. Go all the way down, do that a couple times, and then I'm gonna flip the wig and bring this part. Do the same thing with the back part coming up. Just because you may get the back but you might not get the front when you're doing all of that. So I'm just gonna do that. And then, and then I'm gonna start flipping the wig around. And come back up to the front too. And then with this first layer, I'm gonna let it sit in the bucket. And I'm gonna push the front tool all the way down so I can get it saturated and get all of the hair strands saturated. And now I'm gonna let that sit for like two minutes, three minutes. You'll know when it's ready because the water will turn clear because it's soaked up all of the color. So you'll know when it's ready. I'm just gonna come back when we're ready to move on to the next layer. Also now I'm coming back and as you all can see, it took out some of the color, but it's not enough to actually release it. Shimmer lights again. Pour a little bit more. Take my comb. And make sure this color turns back to the color that we originally had it. All right, so now I'm gonna dip it. Do the same motion. I'm gonna take both of the sides so that the middle of the wig is saturated because in watercoloring sometimes if you watercolor a lot of wigs and you already know sometimes the color do not be catching on to the middle of the wig and it just be looking a hot ass mess in the middle of the wig so I like to just do this on both sides I'm taking it like this dipping the whole wig so that it can be covered evenly as you all can see the color is not blonde so now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just let this sit in here for an extra like five minutes, do the same thing. And then we're gonna move on to the next layer. But for the next layer, we're gonna go ahead and make some new water because the water got cold. Also, when you're toning the hair, the roots tend to tone before the actual strands of the hair. So I like to dip the whole wig in the first time, but for the second time, I'm gonna leave the lace up because I don't want the roots to be like gray or anything like that. So I'm gonna leave the lace up. And I'm gonna go ahead and let the actual hair strand saturate. Let's see what the color is at. See, this little piece in the middle is a little more platinum than the rest of the hair, but this is the shade that I wanna go for.
y'all. So this is the color and everything like that. As y'all can see, she is nice and toned. And it's like a bone color, which I love. It's not like icy white, which is not what I was trying to go for. I'm trying to go for like a toned bone no yellow type color and that's what we got so now i'm just gonna go ahead and mold the hair back and then put her under the dryer really quick so before i put her under the dryer i'm gonna do a little pre-plucking before i go in with my official like dry pluck So now the wig is drying. So if anybody was wondering what this dryer was, I would 100% recommend this. Uh, Naya gave it to me. As y'all know, she moved, she gave it to me, but it's the Termain Tools, Hot Tools Professional Dryer. Um, it's the purple one. I don't know like the specific specs, but yeah, she gave it to me and it saves me so much time. Uh, I could pop a wig under there and it will dry in like 30, 45 minutes and then I'll be good. So yeah, I have two more wigs to tone back here for other looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna come back when it's all dried and then I can show you all the final product. All right y'all, so now the wig is all dried and I like to go ahead and mold it and then put it under the dryer for this reason because the hair is already pushed back so I don't have to do too much hot combing. Now, I'm not gonna install it in this video because I'm gonna be using this for a look. I'm gonna show you all how it looks when I put it on. Don't mind this little spot right here. That's where it was dyed on my mannequin head. But this is the wig. This is the lace and everything like that. As you all can see, everything is nice and toned. She's nice and toned. It's no yellowness to it no more. But it's not like a white unit. It's like a bone color like I mentioned earlier, which I absolutely love. But yeah, y'all, it was as easy as just some shimmer lights. Just remember to tone the hair in layers and make sure the whole wig is saturated and you should be good. So once again, if anybody was interested in this hair and this wig, all of that information will be down below in the description box. So check that out. If you don't already, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and Twitter. They're both Alpha Lewis D30, the same as my YouTube name. Don't forget to come back to my channel to check out how I style this wig. Yeah, y'all, I love you all so, so, so fucking much, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, bitch!